Hi, it's Marianne, and thank you for joining me for another edition of the Chronicles of the Handicapped Crafter. Today I have two special guests with me, my godson Aaron Joseph Glidden and my goddaughter Alexis Jean Glidden. As many of you already know, I have a very rare disease, hyperadrenergic postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. And the reason for this gathering is that my wonderful godson Aaron wrote an incredible story about my disease and submitted it to the National Mobility Awareness Month Local Hero Contest. The contest is sponsored by the National Mobility Equipment Dealer Association, and our story was accepted. May is National Mobility Awareness Month, and they are celebrating local heroes all across North America. They will be giving away a minimum of three wheelchair accessible vehicles to a caregiver, veteran, or a person with a disability that is dealing with or overcoming mobility challenges. My family and friends are such an important part of my recovery, and every day in their own way, they continue to help me fight the fight. I want everyone to know what an unselfish act Aaron has done, and what it means to have him help me spread awareness about my disease, hyperpots. I asked Aaron if he would be willing to read to you the story he wrote, and he told me that he's a little bit camera shy, but for me he would do it. So, so Aaron, Aaron, take it away. Hi, I'm Aaron Glidden, and this is your story. My godmother was in the hospital for seven months. Two months of it was spent in the ICU unit. She has a very rare disease called hyperpostural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Hyperpots for short. Every time she sits up or tries to stand up, her heart rate goes over 200 beats per minute, and her blood pressure climbs to 300 over 180. The doctors told her she would not live to see her next birthday. That was two years ago. I watched her in her darkest hours, give support to everyone around her, and not once think of herself. Her strength and determination to find a cure makes her my hero. It's very sad for my little sister and I to see her like this. She used to do so much with us. Every year she would help organize and run our community fall festival, which raises money for the needy. Now I'm hoping to help her get back to her. Every day, my godmother lives her life in either a reclined or a plain position just to keep her heart rate somewhat controlled. She is only allowed to walk four times a day, one minute at a time. But she does not let that stop her. She teaches us how to paint, cook, and do many different crafts. Most of all, she has taught my sister and I to never give up. The local doctors have either not heard of the disease or do not know how to treat it, and some just don't want to be bothered. It just is not right for someone to leave someone with no help or hope. She has found a few doctors out of state and are willing to help her. She is not allowed to fly. She does have a special wheelchair made to let her life fly, but we have no way to transport her in. I know that if she could get in some of the big city hospitals, someone somewhere would be able to help her get some kind of quality of life back. She spends so much time searching for a cure, but I know in my heart that someday she will educate doctors and make sure others will not have to suffer like she has. And if you ask me why she would, I just tell you that's the way she was. Thank you so much, Erin, for writing my story and being brave enough to share it with everyone. Now we need you to vote to help us win. If you think we deserve a chance, please click the link that I have put in the description box below. I will also have a link on my blog where you can read Aaron's story and access the link to get to the voting site. It takes less than two minutes to vote, and if you use promo code 900, it gives me five bonus votes. You can vote once every 24 hours until May 13th. It's free to vote, and you don't have to register or sign up for anything. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I greatly appreciate your support. I know that your time is valuable, but I hope you know that by voting and by helping me share my story, you are getting us one step closer to changing my life forever. I hope that each and every one of you have a happy, healthy, crafty day. day. Remember, share, we vote, Sam. Thank you, Alexis. Fourth people, goodbye. Enjoy your life. Yes, he never.